Now that we covered the power rule for integrals, I'm going to explain the one caveat to that rule, the integral of 1 over x. So without further ado, let's get into it. How do we take the integral of 1 over x? Using what you learned previously, you may think to rewrite 1 over x as x raised to the negative first. Then if you remember the integral power rule, you know you would first add 1 to the exponent and get x raised to 0. Okay, that's fine. But then we would divide by the new exponent and get x to the 0 over 0. Ugh, it hurts even to put that on the screen. The integral power rule falls apart when the exponent is negative 1 because it causes us to have to divide by 0. Okay, let's get that off the screen before I'm sick. Well, if we can't use the power rule, how do we know what the integral of 1 over x is? Well, if you think back to our derivative definitions, you might recall that the derivative of ln of x is equal to 1 over x. And since integrals and derivatives are opposites of each other, you might think that the integral must be ln of x plus c. And you'd be 99% correct. To figure out the little thing you need to change to be completely right, let's look at some graphs. First, here's the graph of 1 over x. Next, here's the graph of what we think might be the antiderivative, ln of x. Now the reason ln of x, as we wrote it, can't be the antiderivative of 1 over x is that they don't have the same domain. For 1 over x, you can plug in any x value except for 0, so it has a domain of x is not equal to 0. But for ln of x, we can't plug in 0, but we also can't plug in any negative x values either so it has a domain of x is greater than 0. So how can we get this natural log function to have the same domain as the top 1 over x function? In other words, how can we get it to accept negative values? Well, if instead we made the function ln of the absolute value of x, all the negative x values would be changed to positive before going into the natural log function, and the graph would end up looking like this, with the domain of x is not equal to 0, just like the 1 over x graph. Now, although this wasn't an extensive proof, this is exactly what the answer ends up being. The integral of 1 over x is ln of the absolute value of x plus c. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and attack that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more of our content. Thanks again for watching. And remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.